In December last year, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai lovingly instructed our association's Taiwanese, also known as Formosan Centers, to arrange comfort and necessities for the homeless in Taiwan for their comfort in the winter season arriving, with all love, care, and prayers for their heaven's protection and grace. Master and Supreme Master TV staff generously contributed 66,000 U.S. dollars for the relief effort. The first centers to take action, as previously reported on noteworthy news, were Hualien, Jilong, Pintong, and Taitong. Throughout January and early February 2019, the remaining centers, Zhanghua, Jiayi, Xinzhu, Yilan, Kaohsiung, Miaoli, Nantou, Penghu, Taichung, Taipei, and Taoyuan, carry out winter relief aid for those who are homeless in various locations of Taiwan or Formosa. Many centers distributed necessary supplies such as sleeping bags, jackets, and other warm clothing items, vegan snacks, and red envelopes with cash, while others cooked vegan meals to feed the homeless. On January 22, 2019, our Taipei Association members participated in the Love Lights Up the Street 2019 New Year Celebration for Homeless Friends in New Taipei City event, organized by the New Taipei City Government Social Welfare Department and its Employment Services Office, as well as the Taipei Hospital of the Ministry of Health and Welfare. Our relief team provided the vegan meals for the occasion, as well as many services including free medical checkups, haircuts, bathing opportunities, and job consultations. I hope that this Centers like Jiayi teamed up with the Renan Homeless Social Welfare Foundation to distribute winter aid supplies. 特特别感谢我们青海无商知识协会，连续几年啊，都提供我们这些御寒的物资，包含这些外套、睡袋、毛毛，还有毛围巾等等。Most importantly, all centers delivered masters' love and care to people in need. 青海无商知识法师的一切众生有没有？感谢他对我们的爱心，对我们的奉献，我们祝福他，呃，功德圆满。谢谢他的爱心。Our most earnest gratitude to Supreme Master Ching Hai for her eternal love and care for all beings living in hardship. We thank our association members, government agencies, NGOs, and all volunteers who help to bring comfort to the lives of citizens in need. In heaven's benevolence, may all people live in tenderness, security, and harmony. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy in or any good cause over the years. As a humble vessel for hearers, compassion and love toward hearers' precious children. Supreme Master Ching Hai wants to convey this message of gratitude to all governments, organizations, and relief workers from every corner of the world. Thank you for the international and national help that brings care and necessities to afflicted victims and the needy. Thank you all the relief workers for taking time and forsaking your own comfort, even traveling great distance on unfavorable roads and conditions to bring love and assistance to people in time of need. May heaven bless you abundantly for your generosity and noble sacrifice. China becomes the United Nations' second largest contributor. For the time period of 2019 to 2021, China will increase its contribution to the UN from the previous 7.92% to 12.01%, while China's share of the UN peacekeeping budget will be 15.2% of the total. The latest figures, which make China the second largest UN contributor in the world, were revealed in a recent UN resolution. Commenting on the change, the Chinese Foreign Ministry highlighted that it was due to the nation's economic development and per capita gross national income increase, as well as reflecting the growing vital role China wishes to play internationally. In the past years, China has increased its participation in peacekeeping and disaster relief activities, assisting many countries. Our sincere accolades, China, for your increased contribution to help others. May heaven bless your great country to flourish evermore. African Development Bank helps finance water services improvement in Rwanda. 
The African Development Bank (AFDB) has announced a 130 million U.S. dollar loan to Rwanda to increase reliable and sustainable water and sanitation availability in the nation. Co-funded by the European Investment Bank and the OPEC, Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, Fund for International Development, the program is set to facilitate enhanced access to water for 1.5 million people. Commenting on the initiative, Wambui Chachuri, AFDB's Director for Water Development and Sanitation, stated, "The bank's support to this program further goes to deepen and consolidate the impact of its investments in enhancing resilience to climate change and inclusive growth." Our smiling appreciation, African Development Bank, European Investment Bank, and the OPEC Fund for International Development. May all the virtuous Rwandan people enjoy a future of prosperity and happiness and divine love. World's first wind, solar, and battery facility achieves a milestone in Australia. The Kennedy Energy Park in Queensland, Australia, has completed its first stage of construction. And is set to finalize testing and connections early this year, combining solar, wind, and battery storage all on the same site. The plant will produce 60 megawatts of generating power and 4 megawatt hours of storage. The developer, Windlab, has noted that in the future they may grow the capacity to 1.2 gigawatts when new grid infrastructure is built. Congratulations, Australia and Windlab, on your admirable new project to help reduce greenhouse gases and tap into the free energy from the sun and wind. May your plans to expand the park soon be realized as Australia makes the complete switch to loving and planet-friendly renewable energy. Two female citizens joined the fire department in Saudi Arabia. Engineers Abir Oajad and Jazia Iodasari are the first women to become certified firefighters in Saudi Arabia's fire protection department's engineering and training services division. Miss Oajasari is a firefighter's daughter, inspired by her father's dedication to his work. She stated that joining the fire department is her dream come true. For her part, Miss Ajar stated, "I am happy to be part of this opportunity that represents equality." A big cheer and high five, Abir O Ajar and Jazia E Arasari, on your new appointments. May you help many people in your important job in Allah's grace. Also, congratulations, Saudi Arabia, on your women empowerment efforts. May your scenic nation be ever more blessed in divine light. United States researchers find joy of giving lasts longer than the delight of receiving. A study by Dr. Ed O'Brien of the University of Chicago and Samantha Cassier of Northwestern University, both in the U.S., found that the happiness people felt did not diminish or decline much slower when they repeatedly gave gifts to others, as compared to giving to themselves. In one study, 96 participants were given five dollars a day for five days, which they were instructed to either keep or give away. Over the five days, those individuals that gave to themselves experienced reduced joy, while those that gifted to others remained at the same level of happiness. The study was published in the U.S.-based Psychological Science Journal. Thank you, Dr. Ed O'Brien and Samantha Cassier, for this very interesting study and encouraging news. May we all partake of the great gladness of giving in heaven's abundance. Publications declare 2019 Year of the Vegan. Canada's 115-year-old magazine Maclean's declared 2019 as the Year of the Vegan. It was joined by the United Kingdom-based publication The Economist, which stated 2019 will be the year veganism goes mainstream. Also, the United States-based business magazine Forbes asserted that this year more people will embrace a plant-based lifestyle. Maclean's covered important trends Canadians will see in 2019, with veganism topping the list. According to Maclean's writer Jessica Scott Reed, over 6.4 million Canadians are already dropping meat in favor of plant-based alternatives. She stated, "2019 is the year that veganism becomes a moral imperative." Such exciting news, Maclean's, The Economist, and Forbes magazines. Many thanks for showing your readers that the future is certainly moving towards being vegan for us all. May God continue to bless your efforts in spreading the jubilant news of veganism to your readers in a benevolent world. Ireland gives its largest ever funding to help animals. The Irish government has allocated more than 2.7 million euros for 108 animal welfare organizations as part of a new animal protection plan. Speaking of the initiative, Ireland's agricultural minister, His Excellency Michael Creed, said the aim of this is to bring greater cohesion and coordination to work on animal welfare being done by various groups. Minister Creed. 
also praised the important role the volunteer sector plays in safeguarding our animal co-inhabitants. With happy hearts, our gratitude, Ireland, for your commitment to help protect and care for precious beings. May your kind nation and all your caring citizens be ever more blessed by heaven in peace and love. Supreme Master Ching Hai praisefully present Ireland's Agricultural Ministry the Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion. May God bless Ireland and her generous, kind citizens with abundance, happiness, prosperity, and peace. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years. As a humble vessel for His compassion and love toward His precious children.